Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Liz and this is Let's Get Lizical where we do everything card making. Today I'm doing a quick and simple holiday card to get you into the mood for next week's Let's Get Lizical line launch. Um, it's a lot of L's. <laughs> um, but I know I posted a thing that said it was Inspiration Week was starting on the 15th. The 15th is Sunday. I'm actually going to start it on the Monday on the 16th. And I will be posting on the 16th, 18th, and the 20th, which is Monday, Wednesday, Friday next week. Monday will be a video for my stamp and coordinating die set. And Wednesday will be a video for my background die. And Friday will be more of an informative video where I give you guys, you know, some grand opening promos that we have going on and just, you know, a uh, general overview on, you know, where I'll be shipping, how I'll be shipping, and you know, what's to come for this channel and for my product line going forward. Um, but for now, we'll just get into today's card. And what I did was I started off with a Nina Desert Storm card base. I have a strip of red cardstock. It's one inch. We're going to cut it down to three quarters in a bit. And I also cut a two and a quarter inch circle and a two inch circle, two and a quarter for the red, two inch for the white. And I stamped my image directly onto the white circle. This way I don't have to do any fussy cutting, no cutting on my scan and cut. Again, this is a quick and simple card for today. I'm just using one of the Hello Bluebird sets that I got. Again, this is no longer available. It's no longer their structure to carry individual stamp sets anymore. They've moved to monthly kits and once they're gone, they're gone kind of thing. Um, so I did, as I've mentioned before, grab a bunch of these sets before they were gone. But use whatever you have. Again, you can make these circles as big as you want. I thought two inches was a good size. It takes up a good amount of room on an a four and a quarter by five and a half card. And it also leaves a bunch of room, which is great. Because um, you all know I like that empty space. I'm all about quick and simple cards. <laughs> uh, and then what I'm doing right now is just coloring it. And then I left it on the sticky mats I have for the Misty. This is from my sweet Petunia who makes the Misty. Um, you can get these from various other brands as well that will fit into the Misty, no problem. You can even use a waffle flower grip mat, which I also have, um, but I just decided to use the sticky mat and I left it on there because we will be stamping this again once I'm done coloring. And what I'm doing right now is going around the image with like a light aqua color and then I'm going to use the even lighter color of that to help like blend it outwards. It just gives like a bit of shadow around the image and then I decided that I didn't want this circle to stay white so I just blended out that lighter color. And now I'm just going to stamp again to bring back the black lines as I always do. And I'm just going to bend the mat to help peel this off. If you just try to peel it off the mat, you'll like severely curl the paper. So it's better to bend the mat and do it that way. And then I'm just smoothing out the edges of these because I did use my scan and cut. So any like cutting machine that's a uh, straight knife rotary cutter wouldn't probably have this problem, but uh, any straight knife cutter will kind of like bring up the edges of the paper a bit. I know I've shown it in previous videos before you can kind of see it but I like to use my bone folder just to smooth those edges down a bit. And then I've cut my one inch strip down to three quarters just cause I thought it was a little too thick. And I think I'm gonna use a sentiment called sending you a cup of cheer, which went perfectly with this little adorable otter holding a coffee cup. I'm gonna heat emboss that in white on the strip. And then I'm gonna add a few of these like little snowflakes that come in the set as well. And I will name the set down below in case you have it, just so you know. Um, but again, not available. So use what you have in your stash. You could also, instead of heat embossing this, you could use white ink to stamp the sentiment. And then same with the snowflakes. Alternatively, you could skip that step and just use like embellishments. You could just leave the sentiment off if you want. You don't always have to have sentiments on your cards, guys, but this one was too cute to pass up. <laughs> and right now I'm just, you know, adding the embossing powder to those snowflakes and then I will do the sentiment right on the strip. Sorry, my head's about to get in the way. I need to be like right over it to line it up. And then we're gonna add the embossing powder and melt it from the back as always. Um, I like to do it from the back because you just get smoother results and it just like 
looks much nicer. It doesn't really give you the, the pits that you see sometimes when you're heat embossing because that's actually caused by the heat gun blowing powder off of the image. So I like to, again, do it from the back because it turns out smoother. And then I'm just doing it on the front, on the front of the card, because I want it to be a bit flatter. And if you kind of like move it around a bit, like kind of like bend it a little bit back and forth while it's still warm, you can kind of flatten out your card that way. And then I'm just going to attach the strip, add the circle on with some foam tape, and then I end up adding a bit of glitter to his scarf. And I think the cup maybe, or I just did it to a scarf. You'll see in a second. <laughs> and I also used my white gel pen to add some faux stitching around the edges just because I felt like it needed a little bit more of that white brought around the card and it really did help bring it together, as you'll see. But anyway, guys, thanks so much again for joining me for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you here. Um, the more the merrier. <laughs> And if you guys aren't following me on Instagram and or Facebook, you should do that now. I post um, there Monday to Friday nowadays, um, so you get a little bit more content. And it's a good mix of my old work, my new work, uh, some cat pictures on Whisker Wednesday. Uh, so, you know, cats and cards are my thing. <laughs> So again, tune in next Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at noon, and I will show you guys my new products that are coming out, which I'm very excited about, and if you guys like Christmas cards, you will too. So until next time, guys, thanks. Bye.